right, so let's continue getting ready. Let me just pull back my hair. And so, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. And uh, I have a meeting to go to. Um, so, I'm going to get ready for that. And when I come back, oh, and I also have an errand to run. I'm going to do some like chores, basically. I love Elf. I want to get more into, um, and this is Elf. I want to get more into uh, essence products too. Okay, I have a little bit too much of that on. Just because uh, I love the price point, and uh, seriously, a lot of them are such great dupes for such higher end. Um, formulations, I just don't see a reason why I would want to pay extra for no, no, no good reason. <laughs> okay, and if you haven't seen me before, hi, my name's Denise, and welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning, and I am, um, for those of you who are new, what I'm doing here might look counterintuitive, but I'm trying to get all the color. I have dark circles and so I'm trying to make that all one color and that's what we just did. So I'm gonna let that dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my, okay, that's still a little bit tacky. Put on my, um, concealers I got a little dot here and then that right there is probably too much this is Tarte shape tape um, this is 125 fair and this has lasted me so long because it is so, it's so very full coverage and I just need the sheerest amount. So I am putting a lighter color on the other side of my this shelf, which is my um, wrinkle. I am noticing a couple of sunspots up here. I used to live in Vegas and um, that was, you know, back in the 70s and, and um, late 60s and 80s and stuff. And you didn't know much about sunscreen. First of all, they didn't offer what they do now. Second of all, um, we didn't really seem to care. <laughs> so it's just how it was. You just didn't really <laughs> give it much thought. So I'm going to melt in with my finger because it just does a better job. Now I'm going to use my all-time favorite for summer, uh, CoverGirl. This is Simply Ageless, and uh, I just adore this stuff, you guys. This is medium. Some really great skincare in there, too. Apply that. Need to do my nails. Okay. I'm really not going to touch any of the work I did on my eyes because I want it to stay that color for now until I set it. Go ahead and take my lip plumper off. And that's such a barely there coverage. That's why I did 
the um, conceal first on the pimples and um, discolorations on my face. Uh, and that is enough to let this work. This is Nude Culture and it's an ice cream stick and it really has no color and that's, I'm going for a no makeup look. I just put it right there. Um, I'm going for a no makeup look today, so. Just a little contour today. I'm gonna blend this under my eye. Just press that in. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, the face masks that are the collagen ones that you wear uh, and it just melts into your skin, basically, um, there it starts off white and it just turns clear when all the collagen is absorbed into your skin. Uh, they've got, it's all over socials. Uh, it's, a, it's a company that has that. And, uh, but I found a dupe for it and it's amazing, you guys. It's, I, I can't remember how much it is, but I will link it. And it was, it's great. It works, works wonderfully. Um, okay, so got that in there now. This one is the um, Cold Brew by Hard Candy Eye Definer eyeshadow marker and this is what this looks like and that's just a little bit darker it's very pretty and that the hard candy yes and it's bubbly and it's kind of a champagne color and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner to the iris. Some brown powder. Gotta get rid of my chin. See what kind of blush I think uh, I'm wearing blue today, so I think I'll wear pink. And today we'll use Pretty Smart, and uh, this is I'm Dreamy in Liquid Blush in Fortune, and these are deeply pigmented, and I believe these are. Uh, only a Walmart brand. I'll check, but so like really you only need one drop. <laughs> See what I mean? It's crazy, right? Pick it up here. Just gotta work with it. There we go. One drop. It's 
beautiful. It's got great coverage and I am going to just take a little powder and in between where we did this and the contour there, I want to use flesh color and just kind of marry that up. And then one of my favorite things uh, is Milani Luminoso. Uh, did I get a Luminoso? I did. The Luminoso, I love this stuff. So pretty. I'm gonna take my big fluffy and I'm going to go right here. I don't have very many lines. I'm gonna use my Milani, if there's any left, uh, tubing mascara. While these eyelashes dry, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on my lower lash eyelash stamp. Uh, I love it. And if you're new here, I've been using this uh, for mm, a little less than a month now. But um, it sure saves time. And uh, yeah, totally in love. It's just a little pot. And then it's got a little... Stamp. Just stamp it in there. A little directional arrow. Place it down once, lift straight off, and you're done. And change out your tip for the other one. Stamp. Press, release, and that's it. And I love that stamp so much, I got an eyebrow one. And uh, I'm loving that. This is K-A-X-I-E-R, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this is brown color I chose. It comes with three different type of templates. This one is the most natural one for me. And so you just basically stamp it in there. And then you make sure to line it up with the beginning of your eyebrow or where your eyebrow should be. Your eyebrow goes straight up. And that's where it should start. So we'll put, well, my eyelash is just completely straightened out with that mascara. I definitely have to do my hat. Okay, here we go. Let's see how that looks. Day to day. This is Paris Hilton's Velvet Collection. I don't even know if they have it anymore, but it's a long-lasting pink matte. And they're very pigmented, so I don't really need a whole lot. Essence What the Fake Oh My Nude, and it's got a lip plumber, hyaluronic acids, and vitamin E. It's just a really pretty, got a little bit of a gold shimmer, bubbly.
All right, and let's do the eyelash hack. My eyelashes have fallen drastically. The weight, I guess, of the um, tubing mascara just really weighed them down. So we're gonna do translucent powder. We've had plenty of time to let those eyelashes dry. We're just gonna coat our curling device. And uh, I love the hair color. I'm thinking the eyebrow <laughs> uh, color might be a little too dark now that I lightened up my hair. I think it might be a little too dark. I don't know. Is that too dark, you guys? Something doesn't. Well, let me know. What do you think? Are the eyebrows too dark for this uh, new hair color of mine? I mean, you can still see the dark in my hair, but I'm thinking this might be just a little too dark now. <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah, let me know. I value your opinions. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and we will see you here next time. Bye.